The Dupuytrens is a condition occurring in the palm of the hand that causes the finger to bend down and so you can't straighten your finger. It can become very annoying when you try to put on gloves or even awkward when you're shaking a hand. Dupuytrens is generally painless. Um, it's, it's an inconvenience because you can't get your hand into certain positions that you're used to getting it into. Occasionally the nodules um, may go through a painful phase before they start pulling the finger down. Um, the nodules can be a little bit tender. We don't really know what causes Dupuytrens. We know there's a strong genetic association, so people of Northern European heritage are much more likely to have it. So if you happen to live in Scotland and if you were a man over 60, the chances that you would have Dupuytrens is at least 60 to 80 percent. So more common in Northern European heritage, more common in men than women. There's a number um, of different ways to know if you should have treatment. Uh, there are definitely people who live with it their full life. They never do anything about it. They'd rather just live with a slight um, awkwardness rather than, than go through any kind of treatment. But the classic instruction is if you can't put your hand flat on a tabletop anymore, then it's time to look for care. There's a couple of different treatments. In the past, traditionally, the only offering would be surgery, um, which is pretty successful, but it does have a significant recovery period, you know, four to six weeks where you don't have full use of your hand. More recently, um, a new technique has been popularized called needle aponeurotomy. And what happens there is instead of an open surgical cut, there is simply a small needle is put through the skin where the tight band is, and the edge of the needle is used to cut the band. That way you have use of your hand right away. You need to avoid heavy gripping for about a week, but recovery is much faster than the traditional surgery. A common misunderstanding about Dubitrins is that it's the tendon that's causing the tightness in the palm. In fact, it's not. It's a band of scar tissue that forms in a layer of gristle that actually is between the skin and between the deep tendons. So what we do at surgery or with a needle aponeurotomy is we divide that scar band. We don't touch the tendon. So what can be done to minimize recovery if you do decide to have treatment for Dupuytrens is the needle approach. Uh, this is a day procedure. Uh, you can use your hand right away. You need to protect it from water for about 24 hours, but you can re get right back to your activities um, with the exception of heavy gripping activities. So if you're a golfer, for instance, or a tennis player, we would have you hold off on that sport for about a week. But this is a much faster recovery than surgery where you'd need to hold off on that sport for closer to six weeks. The main difference between the surgery and the needle aponeurotomy is the risk for recurrence. So in both techniques, the, the chances are the disease will come back. How strong it will come back, we're not sure. But of people who have surgery, about half of them are back within five years to request additional surgery, whereas with the needle approach, it's closer to three years. The needle aponeurotomy technique um, does have some limitations. So if someone has had surgery before for Dubitrens, we may not be as optimistic at how much improvement we can get with the needle approach. It doesn't mean it can't be tried, but there's some limitations. Dubitrin sometimes um, presents with very uh, well-defined bands that are causing the restriction on motion. Other times there's thicker nodules, and the thick nodules can be quite difficult to treat with the needle approach, although sometimes pre-injecting those with some cortisone, waiting about six weeks, might make it easier to do. Anytime you go to an operating room, um, you're paying a surgeon's fee, you're paying an anesthesiologist's fees, you're paying fees for the operating room, the costs are going to be significantly higher than doing the needle approach, which is an office procedure done under local anesthetic. Um, everything is done by the surgeon. With regards to pain after the treatments, um, obviously during the treatments with the surgery, you're either asleep or your whole hand is numb. So with the needle approach, there's a small amount of pain at each needle site, and it may be anywhere from four to, say, eight different little sites where local anesthetic has to be injected. Uh, but it's pa patients tolerate it extremely well. During the recovery phase, there's essentially no pain with the needle approach. We don't prescribe any narcotic pain medications, whereas with the surgical approach, definitely people typically will take pain medication during the recovery phase. The needle aponeurotomy technique is relatively new. And at the current time, uh, we believe that we're the only ones in the region who are offering this approach for Dupuytrens. Our experience is growing with this approach, and what we're finding is that we've, we've had some successes with people who've had prior surgery, and also uh, with people who are coming for the first time. And everybody is really incredibly pleased, um, and particularly those who've been through surgery, have that experience of what recovery was like before. And, they just say, boy, you know, I wish I'd known about this or this was possible when I'd had this treated first time around.